YouTube channel into the light thank you so much for being here today and clicking on my video so today's pick a card reading is going to be about what are their intentions towards you so what are their intentions we have three piles here to choose from you can pick either pile one which has this cute image here oh let me move it forward so that's pile one can't really see it my goodness Focus, camera, focus. Uh, will it focus? There we go. So it's pile one. And then there's pile two. And then we have pile three. It's that image. So I'll do that again. Pile number one this image here, pile number two, with this image here, or pile number three, with this image here. So, <clears throat> whatever pile you're most drawn to will be the pile for you. And without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Alright, those of you who have chose pile number one, this reading here is for you. So what are their intentions towards you? Let's figure it out. So I do have these angel answer cards here. I will be doing these last and getting more information for you. So we have light, harmony, we have discontent and boredom. Then we have accepting what is, ace of swords, <clears throat> we have four of swords, we have the seven of pentacles, and we also have the emperor. And last but not least, we have your lover oracle, which you chose in the beginning. And I will read this one last. All right. So what are your person's intentions towards you? Let me just make sure you can see this in the camera. <clears throat> Move this over just a little bit. Okay. That looks good. So what's your person's intentions towards you? So definitely I'm seeing... Um, an attraction here. This person is very attracted to you, especially with this harmony card beside the light. This person uh, wants to be open with you about um, their feelings. And because of this, like their feelings won't remain hidden about you. So right now they may have not came out and said something, but they will because they have very strong feelings towards you. What I'm seeing is that there's some sort of truth that needs to come out. Or there was a truth that came out which is causing them to retreat a little bit. Like I'm definitely seeing that this is a spiritual partnership uh, or spiritual initiation. Um, and this person like they feel like you reflect what they need to see in their life. But this person's, right now, this person feels like the relationship is not moving fast enough, or you feel like the relationship is not moving fast enough. But definitely because you guys do marry each other, I definitely believe this is both of you. And they're longing for change within this partnership. There's some sort of, there needs to be some sort of breakthrough, some sort of communication 
or truth to come out. Um, and if there already was, this is why the Four of Swords is here, because this person is kind of um, resisting a little bit. Um, they're more so resisting from the connection because they're trying to be a little bit more introspective about the situation. And, you know, there's peace to be found in this relationship. Like, definitely there's connection here. There's emotional feelings. But right now there's some sort of retreat. Um, and it's about time to kind of just assess emotions. I feel like this person, their viewer, they're assessing their emotions and how everything will turn out in life. I feel like I feel like some of them, for some of you that they haven't fully, as I said before, they maybe haven't fully expressed their feelings towards you. And that's why this accepting what is card is out here because, you know, they haven't fully accepted this connection. Like if you look here, this is the this is the harmony card, but it's also the lovers. And then if you look at this guy here, he's turned away from it. So there is an emotional uh, connection. This person has these feelings for you, but you know they haven't really came into that truth and accepted it. Like they're just looking away from this couple. Right now, I believe this person definitely wants their space, and this is why they really haven't really been reaching out to you. I feel like they're, um, they feel scared or nervous that they're not good enough, or they feel like they may not have enough money, something that they, they're insecure about. And there may have been like some sort of turbulence between this connection and this is why they're retreating, but things will be better when they're back and they'll be coming to this emperor energy, this emperor power. Well, with the seven of pentacles, like I said, like this person is currently kind of just assessing their emotions, seeing like how this will play out long term. And then with your lover's oracle here, on the back, it says, love is like a storm. It is fresh and cleansing. It is natural and essential. It is powerful and fulfilling and nothing can get in its way. So I feel like something, a situation, or just the way that they're kind of not really speaking or accepting like their emotions for you, they're trying to hide that. But because this connection is so real the emotions are so real you know it is so natural that and powerful that them kind of not coming forward and speaking their truth no matter what those emotions are still there and if they aren't making action right now they will because as this says like love is like a storm nothing can get in its way so no matter what this person and you are going to be together if you decide that you want to still be with them. But right now, they're kind of just assessing their situation, stepping back. And then for your angel oracle here, we have abundance and if you believe. Yeah, so maybe something that this person is, you know, insecure about is the amount of money that they lack. Um, they may be trying to work on their money, trying to get enough to feel like they can actually support you. But they maybe that's why like they're kind of turning away from this connection because they just feel like they're not enough. But it's like if they believe that uh if they believe in this connection, if they believe that, you know, together that you guys can get through anything, then, you know, all will work out. And that's the thing. Like I feel like a lot of people don't really want to get into a relationship until, you know, everything is perfect and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, if you don't talk to that person and let them know, like, how you're feeling, like, it's just, like, sad to kind of just have somebody sit around wondering, like, what do you want? Like, what are your intentions? Like, what do you want to do with me? So, 
ask for help from others. So this person is probably going to ask around um, to their friends, their close friends or family and just like be like, what do you guys think? Do you think we got we should be together? Do you think she likes me or he likes me? Um. Oh, and there's there's yes. So definitely this person does like you. They do have a lot of feelings for you. But right now they're trying to improve themselves and that's why they stepped away from this connection with that four of swords here and let's see what this is this is another yes and yeah whatever questions however you're feeling like yes they do care about you and these are both yes cards so yes you do care about this person and yes they do care about you and this connection will happen and you guys will be together but definitely have some uh, conversations, communicate with them, and be assertive about what you want in this connection. Be assertive about um, how you feel towards them. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up for you guys. I chose pile number one. Hopefully this resonated. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I just started my YouTube channel, so... It would be super nice and sweet if you would be able to do that for me. Please hit that notification button to be notified anytime I upload. And yeah, take care, you guys. Bye. All right, those of you who have chosen pile number two, this little image here, this reading here is for you. So what are their intentions towards you? So let's figure that out. I do have these angel answer cards here, but I'll do them last because I'll also be pulling more from the deck. Okay, so what are their intentions towards you? We have heartache and loss in the reverse. Firm foundation. We have material and spiritual prosperity. We have Awakening Ancient Wisdom, Ancient Wisdom. We have The Fool, Judgment, okay, and Queen of Cups. And then this is your Lover Oracle card that I will be reading last. So let me just make sure everything's in frame here that you guys can see it. Sorry if it's a little blurry right now. I'll refocus the camera. <clears throat> All right. So what are their intentions towards you, pile two? <clears throat> I feel like currently this person is going through some healing. They had some kind of emotional um, upheaval, emotional loss in their life. You guys may, uh, may have kind of had a fight about something. And right now they're kind of reassessing their situation. Because what I'm seeing is like, like the fool and judgment here are a very powerful combination. And what I'm seeing is like, they need to master um, new ways of doing things. Because they may, I feel like this person had this, the fool energy where they were kind of more of the irresponsible one um and not really taking things too seriously they kind of had this like uh free spirit kind of vibe which is totally fine but in a relationship they were being too laid back and you know not too serious whereas the other person which may be you dear viewer Put yourself in whatever situation because um, you know your situation best so whoever you are or whoever your person is you know but with the judgment card here the other person um, really focused more on consequences and the, the other person was more serious um, yeah and then with the queen of cups here I feel like whoever the feminine energy is that, you know, they're in their power and 
you know, they know what they want emotionally. They know what they want in a relationship. They know um, what kind of person that they want in their life. And, like, you see that she's holding this uh, chalice here, and then there's a chalice here. So I'm definitely seeing that someone else, the feminine energy, um, is way more mature and understands a lot more things, probably more spiritual and, you know, in their power. Like, you're in your power, you know what you want, whoever that feminine energy is, if it is you, dear viewer. But yeah, the feminine energy here is more serious in their power and understands, you know, what they want and need in a relationship. I'm also seeing with this uh, material and spiritual prosperity that this person wants all the problems to disappear in their life so they can just focus on themselves and focus on you know building building themselves up this person wants to try and balance out their uh physical world more so and they're they want to balance out their emotions because they're going through some healing but i feel like this person kind of just like focuses on the physical to try and like also make themselves feel better and with this firm foundation card here i feel as though this person definitely like they turned their back here like both of these people have their backs turned and I don't, I feel like this person kind of just checked out of this um, relationship or towards you, dear viewer. It just seems like they want to more focus on themselves. There's some kind of like personality clash here. Let me read the back of this. It only takes a second to say I love you, but it takes a lifetime to show how much. It only takes a second to say I love you, but it takes a lifetime to show how much. So yeah, I feel like this person definitely like understands that they need to do more for you and they need to come to the table with, you know, more not only just more money, but just more maturity more like understanding so this person may have like done and done the bare minimum to kind of just show you that they like you because you know they have this full energy they haven't really been serious with you which is probably why you're on this video watching but i feel like this person is definitely more focused on their physical world And then let's look at this. So we have communicate clearly and there's something better. So yeah, I feel like you guys definitely need to communicate and without any harshness. Now with this, there's something better. I feel like you guys, like as I said earlier, may have like, a personality clash or not even just personality but when it comes to relationships how you treat relationships versus how they do is very different and you know dear viewer you you are this queen of cups you know you have that you have the um ancient wisdom within you you understand what you need you understand uh how relationships should be like and it's like there's something better there for you and this person you know you may really like them and everything but you know if they're not giving you uh, the amount of attention that you need and they're not giving you um, you know that love and security that loyalty then you know there's always someone 
something better that can come towards you. And I'm seeing like this person, this person has definitely checked out of this. They rather just focus on themselves, focus on their money, and then this card just came out. So improving health, they're trying to focus on their own well-being. Um, so trust. I feel like, fair viewer, you need to trust that all will be well if this person isn't in your life, if you choose to not have them in your life. Um, trust that there's something better there for you. Be assertive comes out here. So, as I said, when you guys do communicate, be assertive with them. Be like, listen, like, I want to have a long-term relationship. I don't want to keep on chasing you. Tell me what you want. Then we have ask for help from others. This is what we got for the other pile, too. So guys, maybe you've been too invested in this in this connection with this person and they haven't been that much invested as much as you have been. So definitely like talk to, you know, trusted people around you, talk to your friends and be like, honestly guys, should I move on from this person? Are they worth it? Are they worth my time? Are they worth my energy? Oh. And then we see in the near future, so I feel like maybe this isn't the right time for this connection, definitely. But in the near future, you guys can come together if you wish to. Or let go just came out. Okay. Okay. I feel like this person may come back to you in the near future. But you may have already let go of this person, let go of this connection. And Spirit is telling you to let go um, because they definitely have and you'll find someone else someone else will come to you see anything else I can get here so ask your angels came out so definitely ask your angels um, listen to your intuition, really look at your situation for what it is. Like you may have this ideal or this expectation and that's been blocking you to kind of just see what's really in front of your eyes. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys at chose pile number two. Thank you so much for being here today. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated. Comment down below. Let me know your situation because this pile was definitely like there's a lot going on here. Um, and please subscribe and hit that bell notification button to be notified anytime that I upload. So see you guys. Bye. All right, those of you that have chosen pile number three with this image here, this reading here is for you. So what are their intentions towards you? We're about to find out. If you see like a shadow, like an arm clicking, it's because I'm trying to focus the camera. Um, all right. So, we have intuition, the waiting game, we have heart chakra, stepping into stillness, um, these angel oracle cards I'll put to the side, so we'll do that last. We have the two of pentacles, the ten of wands, the wheel of fortune. And then I'll read this last as well. So let me just make sure everything's in the camera here so you guys can see it. All right, that looks good. Okay, so what are their intentions towards you, pal? Three. Just okay. Hmm. 
I see that this person isn't making any decisions at this time towards this connection. Especially with this intuition and then the waiting game here. There's three twos here. So this person hasn't really made a decision yet and they've been kind of like juggling a lot of things in their life. This person may be doing a lot and putting lots of effort into things outside of this connection. And they may be very indecisive. Like one day you, they're like very committed, but the other day they're not. So this person is definitely very indecisive, especially like with all these twos here. It's like, make a decision already, like come clean. And also seeing that this person is not fully appropriately expressing their feelings towards you and expressing what they want. Um, they may feel as though this connection or just being in a relationship in general is lots of effort that they aren't really willing to do because they may be just juggling a lot. There's a lot on their plate. And like, if you see this waiting game here, it's like this person is just walking in circles. So, you know, they can't make a decision. They can't make up their mind. So you may be waiting on this person, but they're just playing things by ear. They're not, this person is not really committed right now. And especially with the stepping into stillness, like they're kind of just like letting life go by, let things happen around them. I feel like they believe like with this connection, whatever happens, um happens you know like they're not going to make any decision but it's like the wheel is always turning right so whatever happens is you know within the universe's hands you know because they're not trying to really do anything right now i feel like right they're the type of person that feels like dating is kind of just an extra responsibility on them But it's like things need to be set into motion. But I just feel like this isn't like the right time for them to have a relationship or express anything, really. That's how they're kind of feeling. And then with this card here, let's see. Some people come into our lives and quickly go, Others stay for a while, leave footprints on our hearts, and we are never, ever the same again. So I feel like this person, you've definitely opened up their heart. And, you know, they have feelings towards you. But it's like right now, they've, they're they just battling a lot of things. They have a lot of stuff on their plate. They, as I said, like they may feel like being in a relationship with you can be just like an extra responsibility and you know maybe they're just not into the whole dating scene right now or maybe you're somebody that has kids and you know they're just like oh well if i date you then i have to you know be kind of like a father to your kids not really like a father but like they're not only just dating you but they have to take care and put like feelings towards your kids too if you have kids and this person doesn't um you're definitely like you've left you left a lot of as I said like you left an imprint on their hearts so right now it's like they have too much on their plate they're juggling too much and they're very indecisive they're just walking in circles and not really making a decision so let's see yeah as I said, like, this is not the right time for this connection. This person feels like this isn't the right time. And then we have within the, the next few months. So I feel like within the next few months, this person will make a decision, which like is probably something you don't want to hear because they probably just haven't made a decision in a really long time. But within the next few months, they will. And, you know, if you're willing to like wait for them, 
then, you know, wait for them. But if not, it's all up to you guys. Um, what's this say? So improving health. Okay, every pile here got improving health. So I feel like, as I said, this person is just focusing on their own well-being, focusing on themselves. This is probably something you have to do yourself. And I got like a huge no. So this person is not going to come towards you. You definitely left a lot of feelings with them. But this just is not the right time at all. So ooh, meditation brings answer comes out here. So I see you guys needing to retract from this connection um stop looking for answers outside of you maybe you've been watching a lot of youtube videos a lot of tarot videos trying to figure out if anyone will say something different and you know the answers come from within you See what else I have here. The situation will improve. Okay. So guys, like literally, like this is just not the right time. And I feel like it's just time for both of you to just focus on yourselves, focus on improving your health, focusing on your money. Yep, big happy changes. So, okay, definitely the more that you focus on yourself and you know, raise your own vibration, this person will come towards you. Like when they see you doing good. And like, you're not really like caring too much about them. You're just doing your own thing. This will draw this person in a lot more. And it would make this person also make a decision themselves. Just seeing you doing something. And just have trust. Trust that things will, will come to fruition. But right now it's time to uh, let go. All right and definitely reconsider this situation so we got let go and then reconsider all right so that's what i have for you guys that chose pile number three hopefully this resonated with you please give me a thumbs up comment down below let me know your situation so i can know like what's going on please subscribe and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time that i upload a new video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye now.